when you look at what leaders have had to do and manage and react to, it's really nothing like they could ever have imagined. I mean, when you look at what leaders have done, all they've done is react, 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 react. They've reacted to changing environments, to changing legislation and mandates, changing research, changing mindset. Their supply chain has been completely out of whack. I mean, their client relationships, their client expectations, their suppliers and their partners, what they're going through. There's been big social justice issues and systemic inequalities that have been highlighted. They've kind of, you know, deployed virtual teams. The very existence of the workplace has ceased to exist and the economy has been on the brink of disaster. Now what? No, seriously, that's what they're, that's what they're asking me. Now what? Now that the world is getting back, can I get back? And can I focus on recovery? You can't focus on recovery. Recovering means you're recovering to where you were. Recovering means you're going back. And that's not what this is about. Now what? You need to prioritize and focus on growth. We can use growth to focus us so that we can go from recovery to reinvention. Look, great challenges always create new opportunities. Amazing and wonderful new opportunities. And what's before you now? This is a once in a lifetime, once in a career opportunity to not just recover, but to reinvent. Prioritize your growth. Prioritize your team's growth. Prioritize your organization's growth. Prioritize your community growth. You gotta take this opportunity right now to recharge and reinvent you your team, your organization, your relationships, your process, your systems, everything designed so that you can reach out and grab the growth that is before you. If that scares you, don't worry. You'll grow into it. This is a new speech, delivered virtually or in person. I can't wait to share it with you.